Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. And, and what is this MG? So it is an MGA. Uh, it was built out in Chicago in the late 1950s uh, by a guy called um, Mr. Lester. I can't remember his first name now, but yeah. Yeah, so it's a customised body. Uh, on the front, he's used a Studebaker Hawk uh, front grille, uh, which, which is good because it lets in a lot, more, a lot more air, keeps it very cool. Um, and then on the back, the fast back is created using a, a 48 Buick top. And then he's manipulated it all to, to fit together and it's all, all still, no fiberglass. Um, so very customised on the body. There's a few mechanical changes. So it's obviously got the, the supercharger. It's got adjustable shock absorbers. Um, and inside there's a few things like there's a, a flasher unit for rallies. Um, as well as cigar lighter because he was a cigar smoker um, but but yeah no it's good fun to drive it's a one off one off complete one off yeah how, how did you find it eBay uh, about okay. uh, about 20 years ago just under 20 really? years ago so um, yeah mad moment last 10 seconds press a button and then second call to the bank to remortgage the house and yeah <laughs> it wasn't that expensive, just I had no money. <laughs> yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> so the relationship has grown, presumably, over the years as you've got to know it and um, Yeah, yeah, so I it. know quite a bit of the history. Um, so I know all the owners uh, of the car. Um, you know, slowly I found out a bit more information, like once I was looking through eBay, as you do, and saw a, a magazine article, and, and it was a picture of this car, uh, just completely random. Um, so yeah, no, I tend to come out sort of as many shows as I can. People like to see it, yeah. um, so it's uh, and it's where, good fun to drive. From today? Uh, just local, just okay. down the road in Leatherhead. Oh, so uh, yeah, Great. although I did uh, join the run which was down in um, Pulborough. Okay. So uh, okay. yeah, I came on one of the runs from Pulborough, so I went down there and come all the way back up again. So with the supercharger, what's mm -hmm. the I haven't got a clue. I can tell you it's more than a standard. Yes. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. But to, to do a decent journey is quite comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, from a from an engine and output perspective, yes, but it is a bone rattler. So the the you know the shock absorbers, the uh, springs have never been changed. Okay. So it's certainly got a very soft soft ride, and uh, yeah, you know when you hit a bump. So having walked around it, yep. there's quite a bit of patina. <laughs> yes. Is that, is that deliberate? Um, it's never been restored. Okay. And I, I do like it. I'd say most people's opinion, 8 out of 10, keep it. The problem is you'll notice that there's a lot of cracks in the paint. Yeah. And it's, um, as I said, it was a bone rattler. So uh, it's, uh, every trip I go on, a bit more pain falls off. Okay. So there's, there's, it would be love to leave to restore it, at least the paint, but eh, I like it like it is. So as long as it can stay like this, it'll stay like this. Great. Lovely. Thank you very much. No problem.